Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Sands of Salzar. This will be part 26 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, well, we were... Ooh, she's on her own. Um, we were trying to complete the third quest line. This one. The Compromise? Yeah. Um, so we're looking for... Well, she's supposed to be a beautiful woman. And we do have a thing here called Beautiful Woman. We did talk to her before, but obviously we picked the wrong one. Uh, can you help with something? What is it? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I don't know. Long haired man saw the act first. It's like that. I'm judged by that weapon. Looks like you don't much need my help. Wait, what? I'm a bit confused. Short hair man? Judging by that weapon, it looks like you don't much need my help. Oh, so you didn't think so. I'm, wow, I'm a bit confused here. This feels like the right person. Nobody. Why is that? Um, the act belongs to the mountain. That's not a reason for the walk away from the delicious freebie. There's a will, there's a way. You finally know what it is I want to task you with. Do you want in on this? Help us wait. Alright, I'll leave this one to you. I know you can do it. Ah, okay. So I need to convince them that none of them own it? Uh, yeah. You met a young woman, perhaps a third princess. Three men squabbling over who's a rifle owner of a fluffy white yak that into their hills. Resolve the squabble over the yak. I take it it's these guys. Um, yep. You guys did a thing. What do you do? Uh, reparations. How about I give you each some coin and release the yak back into the wilderness, hmm? How much money? What's the split? Who's getting more, though? It's all the same amount. There's no way. I also disagree. Why? I should get more. I'm the one with the yak here. Why have you got more than me? That's enough. You can just shout it, shout over the top of us around here. Let me tell you, unless you can pay out every one of us one yak each, you can get lost. One yak for each person. Well, it comes to 3,000 Utah. Can I use an abacus properly? 1,500 per person at three people comes to 4,500 Utah. Ah, yes, that's right. 4,500 Utah. No more, no less. 300 each. Oh, God. It just keeps going. Um, just give it to him. Tail them and only leave once you see the yak release and wild with your own two eyes. Doesn't matter how it happened, the situation will be resolved. Yeah. Who cares? 4,500 Utah. They can laugh, but I just don't care. You did it. I never would have dreamed. It seems like you have to offer them something of great value in exchange, or straight up threaten them. Otherwise, how could you persuade them in such a short amount of time? Three men, fighting over a yak, just like the five tribes, fighting over a piece of dirt. Just like children, fighting over candy, like adults, fighting over money. Fighting, fighting, and more fighting. In the end, does anyone ever really win? I know why you're here. I've heard about this crazed adventurer. Adventure chasing after an impossible dream. There's any way I can help you catch it. The girl tugs softly at your left hand and slips her hand inside your palm with ease. The coldness of her touch gives you a sudden, sharp reminder of something. For some reason, you think of Lord of the Swamp Ludo Khan and her striking resemblance to him. You nearly blurt out a question. Are you... Before she cuts you off with a shh... Then continues. The third chief sent his beloved daughter to Jamal City for safekeeping. No one could have guessed the war would come so soon. You heard a little before about the Thurs... The chief's daughter, how the chief's son had been slain in intertribal warfare, and how the daughter had also disappeared during the old dynasty. But after hearing this side of the story, you may have reached an alternate conclusion. That's right. The leader of the Thur is my grandfather. Show this to him and tell him, spreading your fingers, you find a gorgeous jade calabash in your hand. Does that make you the princess of Jamal City? No way. Giggling, she continues. I suppose I might be the princess of the Umbra Cliffs, but not Jamal City. There's only one princess of Jamal City. Yeah, it's, um, our, our, you know, best girl. Elada. And with that, she runs off laughing into the distance. You didn't ask why she never returned home to Umbra, because you've already guessed why. She didn't want to be back in, you know, in, in Rumble Lands, basically. Okay, so now we need to find our good pal, 
super hot. How are we going to do that? Actually, wait. Isn't this owned by uh, the Akal? Yeah, it is. Sorry, we'll just do that. We'll just go here. Uh, want to buy the Akal? Sneak it. No, oh, no. They found me. Whatever will I do? Please die. So, yep. Uh, once again, I point out, even though we're not really a brawler, we can kind of just brawl that out. Anyone in the tavern? Astrid. Uh, can I talk to you about something? I have a question about someone. Uh, I need Bahat. Bahat. Ah, so now I can talk to Ludo. Now I can ask for Ludo Khan, because I've met him. So that would be why. Uh, Bahat, Bahat, Bahat. That's it. Batu. Can I not talk to Bahat? Can I not find Bahat? Or is he at the very top? Yeah, okay, he's at the, literally at the top. Service of the Akal, I heard they were close to Camel Bell Bazaar. Okay. Okay. Camel Bell Bazaar. That's up there. Alright, well, away we go. Hopefully we can get to Bahat. Because we're done with that quest, right? Because we have to... Give the penny to Bahat, yeah. So we just have to go and find him. And hope that he will talk to us. I guess if he doesn't, we just beat him up. Is that him? No, it's just Desert Brotherhood shitheads. I can't help but notice there's no Bahat. Sneaking into town. Oh no, again, they found me. Oh no. Oh, wow, they actually have, uh... They actually have... horses. Yep, that works pretty well. Oh, wow, the, uh, spear... attacks pretty quick, doesn't do much damage, but attacks quick. Excellent. Someone needed to teach him a lesson. Just give me a moment to prepare. He described the Leda's appearance to the painter, who looks enthralled by the description. He completes a portrait of a Leda, and is so lifelike that it looks like she herself had walked onto the canvas. Cool. Uh, Rahil? Uh, I want to ask you a question. I need you to tell me where Bahat is. Close to West Dokana Desert. Okay, it's fine. Uh, isn't this whole... Yeah, okay. This whole area is West Dokana, Dokana Desert. So it doesn't really help. But I'm guessing this is probably him. Sultan Bahat. Uh, what do you want me to do with this tree? This is... The Akal Sultan puts away the portrait and closes his eyes in silence. The old king is long gone. Sorry. The old king is long gone. The princess remains missing. Another sits on the throne of Jamal City. I shall bury this portrait and build a grave for the princess, and thus I shall fulfill my vow, in my own way. I'm a man of my word. Bring me the agreement. I sign this peace treaty in the name of the Akal clan, and I hope you will stay true to your word as well, and bring true peace to this war-torn land. Regardless, the Akal have put their name on the parchment. It is a step forward. It is. And he attacked me. Uh... I want to make amends with the Akal. You want to make it up to me? Reparation start at 700 Utah. Oh, well, that's easy. Here you go. <laughs> Jesus, there you go. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Again, I point out. Who who cares? That's absolutely fine. <laughs> 700 Utah is nothing. Alright. Onwards. We go to everyone's favourite place. <sighs> the Umbra Cliffs. The place that I keep sitting there going, oh, maybe I'll never have to visit this place again. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, so we have to finish all of these. We have to do all this drilling. God, that's going to take forever. Oh, well, it's fine. So, so be it. So be it. At least I'm not at war with anyone anymore. We made peace. We made peace with everybody. We're just the peacemaker.
Not to be confused with HBO's Peacemaker. That is a very different story. <laughs> lot more, lot more guns and blood. A lot less riding on a wolf around the entire world. Uh, is Ludo Khan actually here? He's not. Uh, is someone in here that can tell me where Ludo Khan is? No. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we just travel until we find him. Who's this? Someone here? Oh, there he is. Uh, I have something similar. You may be interested. Hmm. Let's see what kind of... See what kind of tricks you've got. Ludicon grips the calabash tightly and remains silent for some time. He finally issues his proclamation. The twin perils of war and poverty have ravaged our swamp people and eroded our dreams. But I must have things wrong this time. You're an extraordinary warrior. My granddaughter trusts you. I also trust her judgment. Ludicon pokes off with his staff, hunching his back to turn and say, These old eyes can't see much anymore. But I hope our children, the children of Umbra, will one day see it all. Suddenly seeming like the frail old man he should be, Ludo Khan gazed out into the distance with a sparkle in his eye. Ludo Khan signs a ceasefire, with the condition that the Ifrit stop their attacks, and that the remaining clans accept it as well. Regardless, the third have put their name on the parchment, it is a step forward. Boom! We have saved everything. We have got everything signed. We're gonna save the world. Uh, now what? I did that. I did the thing. We good? Might just go visit my, uh, my friend. My tavern maiden in Redstone Kitten. Okay, come on. You, you do have to keep, keep going there. You do have to actually, okay, there we go. I imagine I'm probably gonna get a message from him later, like, in five, four, three... Two, one? Mm. Guess not. Uh, Tavern Wench. What do they call you? Faria. Uh, I've got a little gift for you. Why don't you have a mini cactus? Play with Faria Rose by one. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to know about you. Oh, half a month. Half a month, Jesus. Confess? A bit early? Oh my god. Alright, well. Guess we should do other quests until stuff happens. Can we do this? The Parko Woo Woo? Lava Void? Thought we went here. This was like a way earlier quest. Yeah? Yeah, we literally did. We, we've done, we've done this. Oh! Uh, recommend level 18. Party of four, we can do that. The Nazir ride like sands through the wind, passing back and forth between valleys and mountains with ease. You take another close look at the ceasefire you've negotiated. It's like a dream. A dream that's come true. You realise you've lost track of how long you've been chasing this down, but the peace and stability that lays ahead can't help but set you at ease. Nice! Oh my god, we just got the trade permit for everywhere. Amazing. You travelled to many places recently, and each time you set foot on a new piece of soil, you always inquire passers-by whether or not they've seen the girl in the grey blue turban. But after all this time, you still know nothing about Elida's whereabouts. Could she be lost already to the icy eastern tundra of Ilias? You quickly shake off such negative thoughts and check your palm once again, waiting for that familiar blue glow to gleam once more. At the very same moment, in the far, far east, on the other side of the Ilias Mountains, are we doing a... Meanwhile, on the other side of the universe... Damn it, I walked straight into this trap. The stone of image that the Ifrit Voidmaster gave you is apparently some kind of spirit trap. That can the stone also activates the trap. I thought he actually trusted me. Is it because of the river goddess's blood coursing through my veins? Forget everything else. Concentrate only on cracking this imprisonment. Lack of discipline could cost you your life here. Because you know, stay away from the Ifrit. Don't get too close. Elada? Why is my mind suddenly filled by Elada's cries? Help me! Help! 
So the Ifrit betrayed us. Shocking. Oop. He turned to look. Just at the very moment the poor passed by is snatched up by the pursuing Ifrit, who rips his throat out whole. Blood gushes out an arcing spurt, splashing onto your boots. What are you guys doing? Doing? We are feeding. Although long dead, the stranger's stare somehow remains transfixed on you, as though blaming you for your inaction. You... you haven't heard? Your chief has entered into a contract with the princess. Contract? A contract, he says. <laughs> I tell you what, how exactly should I put this? Hmm, ah, uh, yes, that's right. People are so easily deceived, just like that princess. How is she doing these days? The stone of images jinxed, she'll be unable to move by now. Cold. Hungry and angry. Poor thing. If you're still here with us, the Void Master wouldn't have sent so many troops. Stone of Image? What on earth have you done to the Stone of Image? Do I misspeak your human tongue, or are your pathetic human ears and brain failing you? That stupid princess is probably already frozen to death. She can't shake off magic that powerful. The freak tilts his head and looks at you. The sinews of rippling rock on his face make it hard to determine any emotion whatsoever, but his eyes clearly betray sarcasm and contempt. I... Mm -hmm. I will never forgive you. You shift your weight down, and crouching on tiptoes, you ever so slowly unsheath your weapon inch by inch. Then, with a sudden shing sound, a flash of light shoots glints in the dark. Before the dust has even settled to the ground, the freak falls dead to the ground. Right beside the poor man he just murdered. You squat down and pass your palm over the face of the deceased man, forcing his eyes closed. God rest you. Feel sudden, unknown pressure forcing your pupils down into pinpricks. The voice of a lady you heard echoing around your mind's eye draws into sudden sharp focus. The Aussie nerd, stay away from the Ifrit. The war horns have sounded. Despite drawing all the tribes together on the pathway to peace, you still have no way to stop the perfidious onslaught of the Ifrit. Meanwhile, Princess Elaida has been kidnapped beyond the Ilias Mountains, if she even remains alive. The tribes are starting to turn on you because of the Ifrit's assault, blaming their weakened defences on all the tribal work you've been doing. Violent fires have been kindled and ignited. Now, like the flickers of a flame, the Ifrit go you. War has erupted. Lovely. Ifrit domain unlocked. Oh, is there a new... Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I mean, we're just gonna kill an Ifrit battalion. Not, not afraid of that. I ain't afraid of no ghost. God, they are a bit rough, though, aren't they? I think they're rough enough. No, they're fine. Kick their ass. Uh, well, now what? Betrayer. Scarcely signed a treaty with the five tribes, but the Ifrit Voidmaster broke his word and trapped Elaida in the Ilias Mountains. Uh, the Ifrit are invading Salzar. The treaty you spent so much time getting signed is now nothing more than a worthless piece of, piece of parchment. Interrogate the Ifrit and find out Elaida's exact location. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Is this Ifrit? Nope, that's Desert Brotherhood. What about over here? Ifrit! That's him! Hi, buddy! Ooh, that hurt. Eat it. Eat my spirit bullets! Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, no. We, we got this sorted. Uh, the heals are pretty extreme. Oh, we lost a sandworm. Meh. So what? So can we go back to attacking the pa Pavaho Lava Void? Pahoho. Pahoho. Um, yes. You come across some wounded men in the rain. In talking to one, you learn their caravan was raided and cleaned out by bandits. The rains came soon after the robbers hit, and the victims reckon that the robbers remain close by. These poor wretches really have been savaged by someone. Could be lurking very nearby. Uh, chase down the goods. It's only danger level 3. Feels like we're gonna handle this. Where are they? Uh, dead? 
super dead. Yeah, super dead. Successfully chase off the bandits. Fortunately, the victim's conditions have not deteriorated. Return the stolen loot to the wounded party and they reward you handsomely. Neat. Can I finish this thing now? I, I just want to do this. I know it's going to take a day, but I just want to finish this. Okay, so we get to take three. So we're going to take Nassant, Zainep, and Saki. Uh, there are no enemies. Lava bubbles around you as you advance on the path. The heat is unbearable. Feels like your weapons and armor could catch fire at any moment. You encounter it, you're free to water yours. Oh, wow. Uh, is that it? 49 Utah, okay. Uh, open chest. Some wood. No. It's a bit weird. Don't know why that'd be in Ifrit lands. They hate wood. They're, they're made of fire. Um, okay, more Ifrit warriors. Uh, boom, boom. Boom. Handle. We took basically no damage. 68 Utah, sure. Uh, nah, not worth it. There are no enemies here. Uh, just recover health, I guess. End of the exploration map. Where are the Ifrit? You walk through the flames to reach the bottom of the cave. You find traces of Ifrit here. It would not be good to linger here. The air is thick with murderous intent. Powerful opponent awaits you. What, the Lava Mage? Okay. You hear ominous laughter all around you, and you find yourself surrounded by elite Ifrit warriors. Ah, uh, well. She just got absolutely destroyed. Uh, I got blessed golden armor, nice. Okay. So, oops, that's intel. Uh, I mean, oh, just one talent point. Oh, I need more companions. I need more companions so bad. Okay, so what do we get? Blessed golden armor. Heavy armor? Epical armor. Heavy. Who has the heavy armor? Oh god, it's not... It's not you, is it? Fine armor, medium. Oh, it's... It's, uh, Saki. Ooh. Okay, less max health. Same evade, same attack speed. Disabling infectuation reduced by 20%. Bleed recovery, reduce all magical damage taken by 15%. It's not that great. Like... No, that ain't it. I think we just sell it. Uh, that's a that's a spear though. Physical attack up, magic attack up. Uh, yeah, strong fire call looks like a good weapon though. An inset stone, XP stone, not very good. See the sharp, enchanted armor one. Oh my god, is that finally a jewel? <gasps> Unbelievable. We actually have jewels. Okay, so we probably just give it to, like, the crow infantry, maybe? Or the shadow dancers, because they're kind of weak? So if we do an inset stone, and we do enchanted armor, color mismatch. Since when? An amber jewel. Oh, okay. Rose inset, amber inset. Oh, okay, okay, okay. An amber inset? Ah, oh, that works. And then must have a rose inserts. That's red. I don't think we had any with rose inserts. And we don't. Bummer. Oh, it, it's fine. We got one. We finally got one. 40 jade. We only have 11 jade. That is quite a bit less than 40. Okay, any more ifrit? So is this no one likes me anymore? You decide to camp out for a while to avoid the impending heavy rainstorm. Just you're almost set up. Several suspicious strangers ride up and ask if they can shelter from the rain. Your companions remind you that these people are visibly armed and may be dangerous. Uh, we'll accept their request, but there's no danger. Uh, the strangers are grateful for your clemency and shelter inside a tent. They appear to be chatting inside the tent, but the heavy rain prevents you from eavesdropping. Uh, after a short while, the rain eases up. Their leader thanks you and they're soon back on the road again. Oh, I just straight up get a talent point. Okay, alright. Boom. 
one more of those and we can actually get our extra characters. I don't know who we'd even get, but we're still pretty good. We'll have to wait one day, okay. Buy a round for everyone, why not? Uh, 610 Uta, sure, whatever, who cares. Favor the Fardia went up. Confess, are we good now? Oh god. Why? Why is love so difficult, wasn't it? Uh, oh. Okay, nothing exciting there. Deliver a letter to Agadir. Where's Agadir? It's up here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so go here. We'll go to Agadir. Why not? Maybe we'll find some Ifrit. There's one. Alright. Wow, I've been pretty wounded here. More than I normally would. Still, it's not enough though. One act equal for Alpha. Meh. That, that ain't no problem. Desert Brotherhood. That's got to be a free. They're moving so fast. Nope, more Desert Brotherhood. It's just Desert, Desert Brotherhood with a place to be. Alright, well, let's keep traveling. The sooner we get up there, the better. And we're definitely going to run into more Afrit on the road, surely. Uh, well, there's some Afrit skirmishes, but they're already in combat, which means if I save them, they don't count. Uh, does Brotherhood. There's more Afrit. Afrit. Boom and boom. The double pummel of Giant Blast and Wave of Death is a damn good one. It really kicks ass. I feel we are a little bit... Okay, we're not overpowered, for sure, but we're definitely powered, right? It's not unfair. Um, Sano Banjo's Wounds. Shock Sano 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 you did very well. Nassant Rose, fair with Saki drop, fair with Lone Eagle drop by one. Oh god, who cares? You know what? Lone Eagle, you're high maintenance. Hand over everything you got. Chief Man Hassan. No? Have these guys, like, joined the Afrid? Is that what's happened here? Is that what's happened? I mean, it would make sense. I feel like we're going to take some casualties here, for sure. Oop, I've been tornadoed. Okay. Yeah, right, we are getting a bit mangled. We're getting very mangled, I'll be honest. But, we had to start taking damage at some point. So let's just deal with their apothecaries. I think we'll uh, be the answer to this conundrum. Wow, those crow infantry, they, they take a pounding. Wow, even Lone Eagle nearly went down. That feels like an actual combat there. One Nazir Assault Cavalry. I feel like they were all pretty low, though. I feel like that could have could have gone either way. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that and that because these stupid potions go off for some reason. Yeah, so have people joined the Ifrit? No. Why do they hate me? Huh? Yeah, I'm a bit, bit confused. Damos. Yamos, for General Shaka, for General Dargo, for General Araman, Fruit Wizard Kimeri. Hmm. Don't know. Odd. Don't know who that person was, but why they attacked me, but. Fair enough. 
So what do, what do I have to do here? Five squads of Ifrit. Okay, so it doesn't matter which squad, some have the skirmishes or, or the other. It's just five squads. We can do that. Ifrit. Oh, Church of Radiance. You get a pass this time, sir. Don't let it happen again. We just need to quickly deliver a letter. Bonk. Deliver the letter. Nice. I probably have enough to recruit Alaf Jahim. Alright, see if we can find some more Ifrit, but we'll probably have to do that in the next episode. So guys, thank you very much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure to share a video too with them, really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.